Welcome back to The Build. This is a really fun time for us. We're gonna be backfilling our foundation. A lot of people who are longtime builders are really upset to see that our footing is still exposed to the elements. Here is why we have not been able to move forward until now. Number one, this wall is gonna be insulated with exterior insulation. It's gonna have three inches of rock wool. You'll see that being installed in this video. But we couldn't do that until we had fastened permanently this platen, which is the dimple board that's gonna keep the foundation wall dry. This has been up for a while. It's just been tacked in place because we wanted to get it up and make sure that it was doing something for us while we were under construction. But the fastening process of this, which involves a powder-driven nail gun, uh, and it's very fun and uh, very permanent, couldn't be done until we had sealed this seam for air and moisture transport. And this couldn't be done until we had the roof on and the house all dried in so that water wasn't getting in there. Because you could see that in some places, the water was getting in, sitting on the floor, and then coming out and soaking these panels. So you can see the bottom portions of these in some places look a little bit beaten up. That's stopped now because the water is not getting into the house. So these people that I have kidnapped and forced to work for me because they're retired now are applying goop. We're just making sure to seal, first of all, all the nail holes in the bottom of the panel of the force field, and also this seam so that air can't come and go from the house. This is one of those places where house wrap, they would want you to leave this untaped uh, or unsealed because they don't want it to collect water and turn into a giant water balloon at the bottom of your wall, and that can happen. So this is the solution for that, and we're not gonna have the water problem and we're not gonna have the air leakage problem that comes along with not sealing the house wrap. This is polyurethane based, not silicone based. The polyurethane base is important because we want the tape that we are gonna, in some places, gonna be applying again for the rain screen to be able to stick to this. And the polyurethane formulation will allow that. The silicone has a, a tendency to reject and not allow other things to stick to it. The reason this is hanging away from the wall is so that we can get in here and do this. If we had attached this mechanically with the speed strips that we're using for the platen, then we wouldn't have been able to bend this down and get at this thing. To fix damage in the formadrain, we just take another piece of formadrain, cut it away so that it becomes just a protective cap on top. Now that we have this in place, we can start doing all of the rest of the dominoes that take us through to backfilling day. And that will make me feel a lot better because now we don't have to worry about erosion anymore.